Go on, skip a judge. Blackpot, Koku Show, Rama. Remember to follow us on social media. We are on Instagram. We are also on YouTube, on Facebook, and Twitter. And we are called Black Empire Media. We are solid. Now, interestingly, the next thing we are looking at will take us all the way, oh my God, to Liberia. I love this beautiful country of Liberia. I love Liberia. Come here. Now, my brother, my sister, George Weir wants another presidential term. Who is George Weir? Ghanaians love this man. In fact, the world of football loves him. Look, he became the African best player several times. Yes, calf. And then he became the world best player. Upon we are great footballer. Now, when he was a player, now he's retired. Remember, he was born on the first day of October in 1966. In fact, when he was born, a month after, there was a disgraceful coup d'etat in Ghana that took out Kwame Nkrumah. Upon we are, he's a librarian. He spent a lot of time in Ghana. A lot of people, if he doesn't tell you, will classify him as a Ghanaian because he speaks the Ghanaian English very, very well. You know, every African country has a way it pronounces its words and all that. Liberians are unique when they are speaking their English. It's sexy. When I listen to the Liberian English, oh my God, I ask myself, what accent is this? It's nice. Have you dated a Liberian lady before? Have you dated a Liberian man before? Hey, anyway, watch this. Now George Weir, whilst he was a player, showed a lot of patriotism to his nation, Liberia. In fact, his nation was so poor, it was unable to even hire a coach for its national team known as the Lone Star. So upon we are, became the coach of the Lone Star. He became the captain at the same time, captaining the team. And at the same time, he was the financier of the team. Nobody has ever done it on earth. This man has gone into the Guinness Book of Records. Number four, upon we are, was an active player. Whilst he was playing, he was coaching the boys. You go here, you go there, you go here, you go there. He was the coach. The coach himself is a footballer. So if they are going to make a change, what do they do? He will run to the touchline, speak to the assistant coach that he himself brought, and say, change number this. That was what he was doing. And they did so well with Oponwea. Liberians showed love. They saw how patriotic he was. And he tried to be president. First time he couldn't make it. He tried again. Hey! And boom! It happened. He became president. How did he win? Two things. Patriotism. Number two. He talked against the war. Remember the Liberian Civil War? That took so many lives. He promised to bring them back together. Just like Rwanda did. But was he able to achieve it? Certainly no. Upon we became a big, a huge disappointment to the Liberian people. Corruption. There was even a time he went into his office and there was a mamba. Snake right in his office. And he had to go out on leave for several days whilst they dealt with the snake. Interestingly, the snake knew what time to come out. And snakes are so good with that. When the president was in the office, the snake would never show up. But when the president left, the snake would come out. CCTV cameras saw the snake jumping onto the president's table, drinking whatever was left out of a cup that the president was drinking from. Only God knows how many times the president went into that office and just picked his cup and drank the remainder of the you know, snake water. CCTV. They read spiritual meanings into that. The whole 
whole block went out and left the place to be fumigated. The rest of the story we will tell another day. This was the man who took time off to go to the World Cup even though his own country was not there. His own son, who should have been playing for the Liberian side, plays for the American side and he went to support his son. The president of Liberia, his own son, it's not patriotic enough to play for his own nation. He's playing for America. Some people think that, oh, it's football. It doesn't really matter. Upon we are disappointed in so many different areas. Corruption. He was not able to unite the people. So many demonstrations, left, right, and center in the area. But today, this is what Upon we are is saying. Liberia's George Weah declares bid for re-election. Remember, he was elected in 2018. So as his tenure of office is ending, he's telling Liberians that he wants to stand again. Is he going to win? Is he going to lose? Come here, let's look at it. It's a brief story. Liberia's president, George Weah, has announced that he's standing for re-election. According to BBC.com, George Weah called in the Liberians to renew his mandate in October after he served six years ago. George Weir has been accused of economic mismanagement at some Liberian, as some Liberian officials, including the chief of staff, were imposed with sanctions over corruption. These sanctions were imposed by the United States. So much corruption. His son plays for the United States. The same United States that they believe in comes back to tell them that, hey, you are corrupt. This is corrupt. That is corrupt. Your government is utterly corrupt. My brother, my sister, in Africa, there's corruption everywhere. If Oponwia does not win these elections, some people who are benefiting from his corrupt government may try as much as possible to rig the elections like it's done all over Africa. I pray that he doesn't go down the line. I pray that he will sit back and assess the situation right. When he went to the World Cup, where Liberia never showed, a footballer who has become a president, I thought he would have pushed the football of the country alongside because football unites people. But maybe they tried. It didn't work. He went to the World Cup taking per diem to go and watch his son play for America. Liberia is so corrupt. The nation is so underdeveloped. I don't know what development is going on in Liberia. But whatever it is, we wish my very good brethren. I've met him before. I've had dinner with him. I just wish that he'll be able to turn the country around. It's not about Paul. It's not about upon we are. It's about the nation of Liberia. This is the black pot, a.k.a. Kukushonemo. Liberia, when you go to the polls, vote for the right man. You have gone through a lot. It's not time to do tribalism and foolishness. It's time to vote for people who can do the work. If you think you should give B uh, uh, we are another chance, push him on. If you think that you've had enough of him, don't fret, kick him out. This is the pot that is black, a.k.a. Kukushonemo. Skip a dodge. Blackboard. Coco Show.